Hello, my beloved Leo. Welcome to your spiritual path reading. I thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time, my beloved Leo. If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading, you'll find my email listed on the screen or down in the description box below. I do offer any and all types of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via FaceTime, Zoom call, video call, as well as Skype, okay? Let's begin with your spiritual path reading and let's find out what the Holy Spirit has for you. Okay, I mean called not to take these. Okay. Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Two of Wands, and Chains. Okay, Chains. Okay. So, my beloved Leo, what I'm seeing here is that um, I see you're receiving a lot of clarity at this time, okay? A lot of clarity is coming your way with regards to your spiritual path at this time. So, things that were unclear are about to be very clear to you. These are questions that were unanswered, things that you still needed, you know, some clarity and closure about. It's like I see spirit gifting you with this. You're going to receive a lot of downloads intuitively and these downloads are going to represent answers okay answers of your destiny your path the people who have crossed your path the lies that people have told it's like everything is going to be shown to you the untold truth is what you are currently seeing and experiencing Okay, in the month of October, it's like Scorpio is gifting you this. Okay, we're in the month of we're in the season of Scorpio and the month of Scorpio. Scorpio is saying, I'm going to give you truth, Leo. You deserve it. Okay. Because I see a lot of things. There are a lot of shapeshifters that surrounded you, people who didn't have good intent. Okay. They were shape shifting into a negative form to really fool you into thinking that there was something that they're not, into really it's like they, these people wanted you to think the opposite of the truth so that you never catch on to their actions, to who they really are. But it's like them wanting to fool you was the mistake that they made because it's like you are gifted with intu intuition, intuitive abilities that are able to tap you in so that you see very clearly what these people are trying to do, even if it seems like you don't see I know that you know how to play the fool here because you're going to wrap yourself up in the lies. It's like you, you wrap yourself up in the lies of these people intentionally to fool them into thinking that you don't know the truth. But when you, in reality, you know all that there is to know and you see all that there is to see about them. It's like these people, I, I feel like they're in a state of regret here because it's like they, they, they were misinformed about who you really were like they they had like a false narrative that they formed and this false narrative is what is placing them in a negative state of being because it's like they're being proven wrong every day every day they wake up they have an assumption about you it gets proven wrong they have a lie about you it gets proven wrong every day that they wake up and they have guilt and they think that they're going to get away with this. Like the guilt feeds off of these people's hearts because of the bad deeds that they've done towards you. It's like you trusted people that really betrayed you at some point in your life. You, you, you might have felt like you gave the wrong people your time, your energy, your efforts, your love, your attention. It's like you might have felt like these people were really undeserving because of what came out 
or what is about to reveal itself to you if you haven't seen already but i see that your spirit guides your ancestors are gifting you with so much prophecies so many prophecies so many visions so many truths you might be shocked because certain things you really didn't see coming i see that certain people are really good at playing the fool here like People were really good at putting on a false mask and a false narrative because they wanted to get something out of you. Because being with you was something that they benefited from. It was not a genuine thing. Let's move on. It's like I see that these people are very fearful of what you know. Okay, they don't know what to expect from you. They don't know how to move. Okay, because they don't know what you know, but they know that you know a lot. They know that you are not foolish. Okay, I see that God is revealing things to these people that they thought they knew of you or they thought of you. Okay, it's like God is revealing the truth to these people, not their assumptions, not their projections, the truth. Okay. That's why this fear is coming out and being evoked in these people's hearts, okay? They fear your wisdom. They fear your knowledge. They fear your strength, okay? Your courage, your confidence. They fear your faith. It's like there are people that are so fearful of what you're going to find out about them due to the things that they've done towards you behind the scenes. Because of their envy, impurity, and lack, Okay? It's like miserable people wanting to make other people miserable. It's like they hated seeing you at the top. They hated seeing you win. Yeah. Eight of Wands. It's like I see that God is declaring you to be the winner in the end. And it's like these people have no choice but to acknowledge that because it's right it's like it's it can't be ignored anymore you can't be ignored anymore you can't be overlooked anymore you can't be disrespected anymore it's like these people are are are, are, are beginning to have rude awakenings okay they seeing the truth of things they're understanding things from a different perspective all things that they they overlooked in the past are the very same things that they cannot they cannot overlook right now like look at this this is the belittling card okay like these people, their actions towards you are the least of their worries, okay? It's like they worried about like you finding out what they've done. They should be worried about the karma that they're about to receive for what they've done. It's like they, they worry that you're going to find out the truth and that you're going to do something about it. They worried about getting exposed by you, Leo, or by the truth, okay? It's like these people miss when you were in a state of being of being easily controlled, manipulated, being easily lied to because you were vulnerable to them. They miss those days because it was so much easier to control you. And now they see that you are you are a force to be reckoned with. They cannot even be in the same space as you or look you straight in the eye. It's like these people are so ashamed of themselves as they should be, okay? The sun, exactly. It's like when you were when you were asking for help, asking for a hand, they were quick to hide, hide their resources, hide the hand that they could possibly lend to you, because they wanted to see how you were gonna make it out. They wanted to see. It's like it was a sense of, oh, you think you're so smart, so let's see how you figure this out, you know. But it's like the whole time, they had no idea that you were the one that was going to decode all of this. They had no idea that you were the one that walked with the Most High and made in the Most High's image. And even if you did tell them that or they did know, they did not want to believe it. And the lack of belief is, 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 is because of the envy they had and the position they wanted to keep you in. They never wanted you to see who you truly are. Because if you saw who you truly were, Ah, oh, you were not going to be, it's like you were going to be untouchable, Leo. These people did not want you to find out your greatness.
it's like you were born to shine okay whether they want you to whether they they think you're deserving it's like their opinion doesn't matter at all and i feel like this is a hard pill for these people to swallow because now they have to look at themselves and actually acknowledge the fact that they aren't actually nothing when it comes to you because they have placed themselves on this high pedestal thinking that they can look down on you they can mock you underestimate you they can put you down in any way possible this could be because of the authority they had over your life at some point or the care that you had for them and therefore because you cared they could manipulate your heart that snake behavior that same snake is going to be the one that bites them the same snake they tried to place on your path yeah king of cups here yeah? knights of cups it's like these people um it's like they're looking at themselves in a in a, in a way of like when they see you they get reminded of their low vibration they get reminded of their lack they get reminded of their they 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 self-worth being mediocre it's like when they see you they see someone who is owning and embracing their individual identity they see someone who is thriving and sitting on their throne they see someone who is drinking from the fountain of youth, the cup of love, the cup that God has filled up for you. It's like they had assumptions. They had, they had beliefs. They had mindsets and beliefs. And these mindsets and beliefs are what kept them afloat at some point. It's like because you were shining so bright, Leo, these people easily felt intimidated or insecure around you. And to keep themselves level-headed and to keep themselves in the state of being of, oh, I, I'm the best, they had to put you down because you, are co you were a constant reminder of their failure. It's like these people look to you as a compass, as a way. It's like when they see you prospering, they feel like it's taken away from their success somehow. It speaks of the mediocre mindset that these people uphold. It's like these people are very low vibrational in their way of thinking. Because they really were mistaken. They misunderstood and misinterpreted you, your intuition. You, you. It's like they misinterpreted how wise you really were. Just because you were coming from a good place or you were showing them good goodwill or you were a good person towards them they overlooked who you really were but i see that they're having a rude awakening at this time like everybody's seeing now leo all things they tried to ignore are now it's like staring them right in the face they can't hide I'm being called to end it here for you, Leo. Okay, thank you so much for your time. This was your spiritual path reading. Leo, if you are keen or interested in booking me, you'll find my email listed down in the description box below. I do offer any and all types of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via video call, FaceTime, Zoom call, as well as Skype. Okay, I'm sending you nothing but love, Leo. Until next time, bye.